Welcome to the science quiz show about the solar system. You will get 20 questions with four choices each. Only one choice is correct. Ready to start? Let's go. Number one. How many planets are there in our solar system? The answer is letter B, eight. There used to be nine planets in our solar system, but Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet in 2006 because it did not meet the criteria for being a full-fledged planet. Number two, what is the name of the largest planet in our solar system? The answer is letter B. Jupiter is so big that it can fit more than 1,300 Earths inside it. It also has the most moons of any planet. Number three. What is the name of the second smallest planet in our solar system? The answer is letter A. Mars is often called the red planet because of its reddish color, which is caused by iron oxide in its soil. It also has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. Number four. What is the name of the star that our solar system orbits around? The answer is letter D. The sun is the most important source of energy and light for life on Earth. It is also the largest object in our solar system. Number five. What is the name of the only natural satellite of Earth? The answer is letter B. The moon is the fifth largest moon in the solar system and the only one that humans have visited. It takes about 27 days for the moon to orbit around Earth and it always shows the same side to us because it is tidally locked. Number six. What is the name of the planet that is famous for its rings? The answer is letter A. Saturn has the most spectacular rings of any planet, which are made of billions of pieces of ice and rock. Some of the rings are very thin, while others are very thick. Number seven. What is the name of the planet that is the hottest in our solar system? The answer is letter B. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, with an average surface temperature of 864 degrees Fahrenheit or 462 degrees Celsius. This is because it has a very thick atmosphere that traps heat like a greenhouse. Number eight. What is the name of the planet that is the farthest from the sun in our solar system? The answer is letter C. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the sun in our solar system. It is also the coldest, with an average temperature of negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 214 degrees Celsius. Neptune is the only planet that was not discovered by direct observation, but by mathematical prediction. Number nine. What is the name of the planet that is the smallest in our solar system? The answer is letter A. Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the sun in our solar system. It is also the fastest, orbiting the sun in just 88 Earth days. Number 10. What is the name of the planet that is sometimes called the blue planet because of its color? The answer is letter D. Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has liquid water on its surface, which makes it look blue from space. Earth is also the only planet that supports life, as far as we know. Moving on to number 11. What is the name of the planet that is tilted on its side, making it spin like a top? The answer is letter A. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and the third largest in our solar system. It is tilted on its side by 98 degrees, 
which means that its poles are almost in line with its orbit. Number 12. What is the name of the planet that has a giant storm called the Great Red Spot? The answer is letter D. Jupiter is the largest and most massive planet in our solar system. It has a giant storm called the Great Red Spot, which is bigger than Earth and has been raging for centuries. Number 13. What is the name of the dwarf planet that was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system? The answer is letter B. Pluto is the second largest dwarf planet in our solar system, after Eris. It is also the most distant, orbiting the sun in a highly elliptical path. Number 14. What is the name of the asteroid belt that lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter? The answer is letter C. The main belt is a region of space that contains millions of asteroids, which are rocky and metallic objects that orbit the sun. Number 15. What is the name of the largest moon in our solar system, which belongs to Jupiter? The answer is letter B. Ganymede is the largest and most massive moon in our solar system, bigger than Mercury and Pluto. It is also the only moon that has its own magnetic field, which creates auroras on its surface. Number 16. What is the name of the moon of Saturn that has a thick atmosphere and lakes of liquid methane? The answer is letter D. Titan is the second largest moon in our solar system and the only one that has a dense atmosphere, mostly made of nitrogen. It also has lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane, which are organic compounds. Number 17. What is the name of the moon of Neptune that is the most volcanically active object in our solar system? The answer is letter A. Triton is the largest and most interesting moon of Neptune. It has geysers that spew nitrogen gas and dust. Triton also has a very thin atmosphere and a retrograde orbit, meaning that it spins in the opposite direction of Neptune. Number 18. What is the name of the comet that is visible from Earth every 75 years and was last seen in 1986? The answer is letter C. Halley's Comet will next appear in the night sky in the year 2062. It orbits the sun every 75, 76 years, so this is the time between appearances. Number 19. What is the name of the region beyond Neptune that contains many icy objects, including Pluto and other dwarf planets? The answer is letter A. The Keeper Belt is a donut-shaped region of space that extends from about 30 to 50 astronomical units from the Sun. It contains many small, icy bodies, some of which are larger than asteroids. Lastly, what is the name of the hypothetical planet that may exist in the farthest reaches of our solar system beyond the Keeper Belt? The answer is letter B. Planet 9 is a proposed planet that may exist in the outermost region of our solar system, about 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Thanks for playing and have a great day!